You know, I like playing ping pong with our family. It's a great family sport. We play it a lot in our house. Love it around the holidays when we have lots of family members over. Everyone can kind of participate in ping pong. It's a fun sport. And I like watching oftentimes. I can see from the kitchen down to the game room. I can tell. It's very easy to see if we have uh, some kids playing and they're kind of just taking an easy volume, warming up, nice slow pace, nice and relaxed. Well, it's very evident as soon as they start keeping score in that game. Man, the intensity picks up, they're very focused, the energy level, boom, I start to see things like this. Slamming the ball back and forth. Well, same things happen in our, in our business. When we keep score, our performance rises, our, our intensity rises, our energy level increases. That's all great stuff. We keep score lots of different ways in our businesses, right? Whether it's sales and revenues and costs and, and, and earnings and, and, and engagement and turnover, all those things. No lack of, of measures to look at in our business to keep score. The key is that we have to measure only what matters most. Here's a great opportunity to use the 80-20 rule. Ask yourself, what are the 20% of these total measures that we look at as a business that tell 80% of the story of our business? Those are the ones I want to keep track of. Those are the ones on my scoreboard. Well, we have to keep a score. We have, in order to keep score, we have to have a scoreboard, right? So there are a few aspects of a scoreboard we have to keep in mind to make sure it's compelling. The first is the scoreboard has to be current. I don't want to know what the score was back from the first quarter if I'm in the fourth quarter of the game. I don't want to know what the score was from last game if I'm two games ahead of it. It has to be current information. So keeping it simple and, and easy and able to be updated is very critical for our scoreboard to have a compelling scoreboard. The next is it has to be relevant. I want to see the score that's relevant to my game. It's great that the executives might be looking at earnings per share, but I might be in sales and I need to know my meetings and then my proposals that went out or my call time from my call center. I want a relevant scoreboard for my game. It has to feel relevant to me. And lastly, it has to be influenceable. In other words, I want to know that my activities now have an impact on the scoreboard later today or tomorrow or next week at least. It ha I feel like I have to have some control over the score of the game. So to have a compelling scoreboard, remember, it has to be current, relevant, and influenceable by the team that's doing the work right there. So just a few tips about keeping score. You can learn more and stick with it. Our new book coming out. So hope you enjoy it. Have a great day.